picture of it. Must have been a long time ago. It says a thousand waterfalls in one, a thousand rills around the run, a thousand booklets laugh and leap and make these lovely seem complete. I love Dakota more and more. Her praise is vast, her minds of ore. I love her mountains and her glades, but most her beautiful escapes. And through and though I roam in other lands and city dens on ocean strands, the charms shall reign in memories halls and bring me back to these two falls. Home published in American Miller, August 1880. Richard Farrell, War Mining History Collection. And this one says, on we go toward the falls. Sooner eyes catch glimpse of the cascades. Glittering in the light of the rising sun, there are many waterfalls arrested for a moment and then the many cascades finally meet and go laughing, forming and bounding into the chasm and blow. From every waterfall and rock nature with a thousand tongues proclaims omnipotence. Omnipotence, <laughs> that's a hard word. Letter from Carrie J. Peabody, Dubuque, Iowa, to the Sioux Falls, Pandagram, November 7th, 1877. And here's an old photo. You can see a couple of ladies, and it's like back in the 1800s. They got their little hat on, and yeah, you can tell by the way they're dressed that it's definitely way, way, way back. <laughs> Ooh, some bone just flew on me. <laughs> and then this one says, stereographs like the one on the left were viewed with a special type of glasses. When you looked at the photograph through the viewer, which you held in front of your eyes, the image seemed three-dimensional. This stereograph is an early image of the falls before the banks of the river were lined with trees and industries. Since early settlement days, the falls were a popular attraction, and stereographs of the falls allowed visitors to recall magnific magnificent scenery. Siouxland Heritage Museum's photo. And then it shows the photo of it. Oh, candles. 